Hey guys, how's it going? Phil Montelioni, the book peddler here. Coming to you from my little shop in Smithville Flats, New York. Looking a little haggard today, but it's a beautiful uh, Sunday afternoon. And I have some time before I close this shop up. And uh, Craig Shea wanted, us, wanted me to do a video on what's in the cases. So I'm going to take you guys um, into the cases that I have. I have two, four, six, seven, I think I have eight um bookcase no nine nine bookcases filled with beautiful gems now if you've watched this channel for um a period of time you'll recognize a bunch of the titles in them some are listed on my seller site some aren't um it's a matter of just getting to them pricing them i, I have a huge pile of books to list so i'm always very busy and i try to list every day but um if you're new to the channel, I'd love to encourage you to like and subscribe. And uh, there's a notification bell that if you hit it, you can be notified when a new video comes to be. And then you can check it out if you want to. Um, so anyhow, again, appreciate all your support, guys. I'm, I'm kind of almost to that 1,000 subscriber list, which is pretty awesome. So, yeah, I guess anyway that uh, if you feel like sharing it or doing anything like that... Um, you know, that's cool. I appreciate your support regardless. And everybody's purchased off me and all that stuff. Thank you. But I am going to read uh, the new subscribers. I haven't done it in like over a month. And um, I've definitely had an uptick. So I just got one page. If I miss anybody, my apologies. But no, I appreciate you. So let's start here. Cher Brown, King Nothing, Runscape Rapper, Jerry Thomas, Peter PNC, 1943. Someone's pulling up. Thank you guys for your subscriptions. Give me a minute. I'll be right back, would you? All right, I'm back. I don't remember where I left off, but... Ruckus Reg. Kelly Howe. Burton Morris. Uh, Lorena Galindo Castellanos. Christian Prado. Esoteric Frequency. Patty Bibbery. Philopotis. Uh, Christine Keyswer. Hey, what's going on, Christine? Thanks for subscribing. Pam Forsyth. Harry Stroop. Samuel Mirbostad. Robert Ptolemy. Jim Moffan. Sticks and Stones. You got a real long one there, so I'm just going to call you Sticks and Stones. Yan Bechelow. Neil Powell. Dagmar Van Dyke. Book Time with Elvis. Millionaire Maker Channel and Trina Sprindle. Thank you all for your subscriptions. I appreciate it. And yeah, it's a nice Sunday. We got some activity outside. We got some guitar playing. Where's your uh, Where's your hat for tips? He knows if he had it out here, I, I'd be putting my hand in it. My brother Trey, wait, you can wave the camera. What's going on? <laughs> All right, guys. Let's see what's in some of these cases here. What I put in this one here are Bell's Plays. It's a nice volume set. Um, beautiful set. There there are two missing volumes. I think this is from the 1780s. 1782. So that's a nice set there. I got the Peter Pindle two-volume set. I got some other... Other ones here, these are all found on the on the seller site for the most part. Got a nice copy of Arabian Nights. These are beautifully bound uh, poetry books by a French binder. Um, those came from a barn, actually. Fables of La Fontaine in French. That's a neat book, Hindus and Christianity. Um, P.T. Barnum book. This is signed by uh, this one here. I don't know a terrible ton about, um, uh, what is his name here? This is a signed, inscribed book. It's, uh, Hubbard. Yeah, Albert Hubbard. Let me get to the ton of end pages here, huh? Wow. Could have saved the tree with all these end pages. Okay, there's Albert Hubbard. This, uh pretty obscure one to have see that pretty cool huh so yeah there's a bunch of i'm getting in a nice two volume set of joseph brant plutarch's lives so some of these 
can be a little bit battered and I just don't want people readily handling them all the time. Down there I have, um, these are those little blue books. It's hard to see with the glare. Different classics. Here I put, and this top shelf I kind of reserve for hunting and fishing stuff. And they're, they're specialty books for the most part that I just don't really care to have handled. This is, um, uh, what is this? The fishing book here. Um, I've had very early copies of this one. Really cool. Yeah, the, the Complete Angler by Walton. So that's a nice one. I got a classic on, um, it's called Woodcraft by Nesmuck. So a variety of others. And some of them, like, I'll put in the case just because I got to give more of a look. Like, there's a Similarian by Tolkien, first edition, I think, British edition, Dune. Some of these music books, you know, they're like a hundred, couple hundred bucks. So I just stick them there. In in this case, to the left, there's my Biblio book I just got. So some of these don't fit in the cases here, though. So this is a ledger. These are letters. You know, some of these are just really battered up. But I'll take you in this case here. Nice sets. Uh, Prescott, Fernand, Isabel, three volume set. Conquest of Mexico by Prescott. Um, here's those beautiful Italian bound books. I'll show you the front of these. Look at that. These are gorgeous. I, I've yet to put these up. This is the Christopher Columbus set that I got at a antique center. And I really like, uh, early Bibles. Like, like this one is really cool to me. It's got initials on the front and, um, you know, I just haven't had interest in even putting a number on it because I, I like it. Some things I, I just hold on to. It's beat to heck. But uh, 1815, so it's just got some character. So I'll put books like that. Here's a nice set of uh, Josephus's works. I think this is like 1840s here. Um, work on Constantinople, two volume set, southern Spain. So, yeah, I, I mean, just like to protect these books, just give you the rundown here. There's Albert Hubbard. And then in this case here is generally where I keep um, a lot of the New York history. So, have a directory, um, a gas company. These are original photos of a town over called Oxford. Birds in New York, plates. There's my John Quincy Adam books I showed recently. Um... Let's see, the Mohawk Indians. This is an 1813 Gazetteer, New York. Re just just cool, different different stuff. Let's see what's in this side. And those two shouldn't be here, but I don't have any other room. That's a nice documentary history of New York. I got that at an auction a couple years back. Birds of New York by Eaton. So good stuff. I put the Harper's Magazines here. I didn't know where else to put them. Oh, someone's coming in, guys. Give me a minute. So then we look over here to this, uh, my new cabinet here. Just put some nice book sets in. These go pretty well. I've had great success with the Tocqueville ones. These in here are the uh, Waverly novels. So just some earlier titles. These I have yet to price out. Milton's Prose and Works. This is the Keats and Shelley set that you've seen. I bought that in Maine. This is from an Ithaca book pick. George Washington's Diary. Beautiful, pristine set. So I want to keep it that way. I keep it here. Library of Oratory. The Jesuits. There's the Canadian biography. So yeah. And then when you, when you walk in, there's this one here too. I'll just give you a look at the titles. And a couple Bibles got bought out of here yesterday. I'll take you to the back. So in this case, these are my real special books. And I'll actually click on the light for you. That's the Chaucer's work I bought in Maine. So I keep I keep these on individual shelves. I'm going to put nice pl uh, cards up here so that tell them what it is. And uh, who's that guy? 
And um, just the price, this is Trappers in New York, first edition, very obscure book to come across in its first state. This is the Alexander Mackenzie book, 1801. So that's a that's a beautiful one. Here's the Dry Fly Man's Handbook by Helford, Sign Limited. And there's that two-volume World War I uh, documentation in French. So that's this book, or I mean this cabinet. And then you got the bigger cabinet here. Now this has some different odds and ends. Sometimes books get swept, uh, switched in and out. The back there is a is a nutting signed uh, plate. This is cool. That's a German commemorative sign, uh, Stein. My uncle wanted it, but it looks nice there for display for now. That's an F. A. Hayek. There's my militia book. And, and check out that really cool um, picture in the back there. There's no information on it. I'd open it, but, but hold on. Scooch this out of the way. Let's get in here, guys, right? Gonna do a video, do a video. So, map of Boston, early one. There's a memory jug, which is cool. Looks neat in there. But yeah, I thought this picture is really cool. And actually, I'm just keeping it there. I have no interest in selling it. Um, this is a nice one, America Illustrated. Candlelight in time, like black uh, plantation poetry. Beautiful. This one in here is one of my favorite, favorite books. On... Oops, why is it all locked up? Okay, bear with me. On uh, Scotland. I'm surprised that hasn't sold yet. Familiar birds with the poets sing of them. And some of these down here are just ones that, you know, like uh, like these I just don't really want handled. I got to put this, this up uh, still. Some of these are art books. Here's a nice uh, book on fields and forests and flowers. Like some of these Chagall books are pretty high value. So I stick them in here off this side. I also have uh, books up in my hall for that, you know, I just don't want to handle. I'm not going to bring you there today. But, uh, so there's that. Yeah, just giving you what's in the cases. This case back here is cool. I cleaned it out a bit, but I still have stuff on top. But I'll just... The light actually recently went out, but that's Sketches by Mark Twain in the left corner, first edition, Prince and the Pauper. That's a cool book. Life on the Mississippi Mixed State. First edition, Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. That right there is a six, what is that, 16, 1656 on English uh, House Housewives. R really neat. That's a really neat book. I've showed that in videos. Here's some of the new folio societies that I got on. Put them to the back. Um, and one while I'll take you down here. There's some more Mark Twain's. Pinocchio, The Boldly Head I've Yet to List. Nice bound books, Alice in Wonderland, some early Sherlock Holmes, signed books. So yeah, a lot of a lot of neat a, a lot of neat stuff in here as well. So that's pretty much what's in the cases. Oh, and then up at the front, there's some But anyhow, um you asked for it, that's what's in the cases. Uh just a lot of neat individual gems, some different odds and ends. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I do swap um, in and out, things move in and out. I have a bunch of books upstairs as well. Like I have a first edition. Um, oh, shoot. What is it? It's got the Uncle Remus. So it needs a little bit of repair work. So there's different stuff like that, that I kind of... Um, put off to the side till I'm able to get to it that needs that needs help with its binding and stuff like that or salvage materials like if there's engravings and stuff that can be salvaged so that's kind of what I do I, I put it aside these cases stuff transfers in and out uh depending on the picks and um <clears throat> but yeah that's uh I, I hope you enjoyed it guys I figure I'd just give you that that look and then on the hutch here actually I'll just show you the hutch has some different sets here that are up because I don't really have a section to put them in. This is all pretty, um, 
well this i have to list i recently got but you know i just don't have um really a shelf space to put it and on the bottom here is a bunch of great magazines that i still have to process i have boxes of magazines these are nice mother earth news small motors popular science so anyhow so i'm gonna close out this video figure i make a quick one for you guys simple enough and I'll, i will be doing my part two of the conspiratorial buying selling collecting those books and so maybe if you like that subject, you t tune in for the next one. But um, I think that's about all I got to say. So, yeah, this is my little shop. I'm in the back. There's the front of it. So it's, an, it's a nice shop. So, saw a lot of new customers today. And I saw a lot during the week. It's the back here. I don't know if you've ever seen the back. Different just classic, classical works. So, but yeah, a lot to process, huh? Some poetry. So, which remains a pretty, pretty steady interest level. So, anyhow. Okay, guys. I'm signing out. Thanks for sticking with me for this long. And I hope you like and subscribe. And I hope everybody's doing well out there. Summer is finally starting to make its way. And um, hey, until the next video, everyone take care out there and we'll see you later.